Can you please teach us, me, how to put a stomach to sleep? Mine just growls at me a lot. Easy, you stop feeding it. Eventually it runs out of energy. And then it hibernates. Stomach not needed for anything. Stomach will go to sleep. Hey, Arakim. If only we could all be as confident as Arkham to just show up somewhere and just start incessantly nagging someone until they pay you attention. We would all probably actually get ourselves into way more trouble than we could bargain for, actually. It's probably best that we don't have that kind of confidence. I'm going to speed it up even further. Don't like running it at this speed, frankly, but my needs must. I I mean we've got an okay amount of food right now just after harvest, but yeah. still a little bit concerned. Right, let's have a look. How's this room going? We need a lot more f more furniture in there. Definitely. Got a lot of things that I can sell though. And I wouldn't mind selling some of them. I could also start a ranch. Notice me, Evac! Okay, Bilal. You are noticed. Is it? Is that like witness me, but for dapplings? Are, are you about to do something epic, but probably with a very low chance of surviving? Do we just switch out the witness to notice? I mean, you know, it, it does avoid any potential legal issues, I suppose. Uh, setting up a ranch wouldn't be a terrible idea with this much livestock around. Uh, we could just go straight for meat. Or we could go for meat and eggs. This just gives 0.75 meat. This gives one egg. So actually, of the two... This will give us less livestock as a consequence. But this gives us a lot... This gives us other things, namely... Um, namely... Uh, leather. Might not be a bad choice, though. There's onks as well. We get... Oh, we get cotton from onks, of course. I could have set that up instead of the... Uh, in instead of going for a farm. And then there's just straight up meat. If you just want food, the uh, entelodont, entelodont rather, is so much better. It's 1.5 food. That's that's a lot. And if you've got Garthimi, then the Balti crawlers are actually okay as well. Can almost only be utilized by Garthimi. Like, <laughs> fair enough. Um, the Intelodonts, uh, I, I think we're going to go for Globdian, though, since the eggs would be nice. An extra source of food. Fertility base, so it's somewhere further up here that we're going to want to go. Uh, slow, so, Globdian pasture, here we come. Now, you don't want to go for sharp corners with this. Uh, that one is okay, but you don't want any like overhangs because if i do something like that none of this is really useful as grazing they can't graze here and all of that is just fence it might look like there's room but there isn't i like saying the word intelligent i could just say pig but why would i when instead i can say intelligent it's glorious marvelous even we need more awesome tasting words for me to say. Go. 
It's quite a large pasture. And we could even have the door pointing straight down toward the... Well, actually, can we? Yeah, straight down toward the, pat, the, uh, the shrine. Perfect. Uh, current worker amount is going to be... 12.8. We really want that to be a full number, because you can't have 12.8 workers here. Uh, let's remove that back a little bit. There we go. Let's bring this out. Thirteen. Right, its current efficiency is 50%, 88%, and... Oh, 99%. 100. There we go. Dunk. Right, let's make this a thing. What noise is an uh, Antelodon to make? Uh, uh, that... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. What does Antalo mean? Uh, Prismatic Flux says it's an ancient pig that was about the size of a car. Super Bowl. Ultra Chunk. So much meat. Right. Sadly, it's going to take us a while to get all this done because they're going through the jobs gradually as they get down here. But. We have got all of this ready to use once they're, they're down here and ready to go. And that's the main thing. Let's speed time up a bit. I am going to need more peeps. Uh, I will take three extra Victonians. How much room have we got? Got no more room for you. Mm, that's a bit of a problem. I'm going to need a little bit more room then. Uh, Well, technically, no. No, we don't. We have got exactly as much room as we need. Uh, seven to Lapis. We will take all of them. Because we're about to have this open up. There's two places that are going to drain our workforce quite aggressively. Okay, let's have a look in here. The Scientist 29. Yeah, okay. Uh, I will take everyone we can. Let's drop this down until we've got at least five workers for now. Alright. What's the vibe comparison between this and Dwarf Fortress? Ooh, that's a good question, Onred. That's a really good question. I would say... War Fortress is more like The Hobbit, whereas this is more like a fantasy, the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. Also, 221T just says, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Trassel says they're an ancestor of the pig, aren't they? Just like how aurochs are huge cows. Yes. And uh, 221T said, I just looked it up, and they're apparently closer to hippos. Where? Far well, we're not, but we could be farming hippo pigs? What the heck? But hopefully that answers your question on red. If anyone in chat would like to answer as well, I'm sure they wouldn't mind uh, uh, f another opinion. It's going to be a while before this farm gets sorted because we just don't have cotton to put into it. So there's going to be little bits of cotton brought every now and then, which will be used. And over time, I'm going to continue bringing in more Talapis because, frankly, I need the workforce. Uh, that's going to take not that terribly long to set up. Now we want as many people working in here as we can so that I can get up to the sort of uh, 
numbers that I need to unlock weaving. Once we've got weaving, and once we've got the cotton field planted, I can stop trying to import clothes and simply make my own clothes. Right now we're making armor. And that's it. We're just making armor. We need to do a lot more than this. You can probably, yeah, no, you can definitely over, uh, influence the overworld more than in uh, it, more in Songs of Six than in Dwarf Fortress. Massively so. In fact, on right, if uh, this is uh, the first time you've seen Songs of Six, let me head on out. First and foremost, though, one thing I will say: you can play the demo of this game. The dev, I. <laughs> It's easy to say the interesting move, but honestly, just the the baller move, frankly. The demo of this game is the full game, one version behind the released game. Now, each version of this game is big. Like, this, is, this version changed the way water works on a fundamental way to the game. So, you know, we're not talking a small like patch version with a couple of bug, fi bug fixes we're talking entire game like mechanics layers are different between one version and the next as they they build up towards um 1.0 but the demo is 0. 0.64 um this is 0. 0.65 uh there are massive you know game world changing uh, differences in, in each version so if you do enjoy the demo definitely consider picking up the game it's also relatively cheap in my opinion for what it is but this is the overworld and there are different kingdoms it's, it's almost like crusader kings level map painting going on right now and eventually you get into that right now each each faction has their own um uh, court their own um views on you uh, their realm will consist of various things like some of them will have armies some of them will span multiple uh multiple regions their own prices to buy and sell goods uh their own uh, priority taxes all of that sort of stuff how much they have of it the various skills of their people based on their research uh the diplomacy uh, which you can interact with i very much hope though i don't imagine i'm going to get there in today's stream but once you have conquered an area, it isn't just a case of, haha, they belong to me now, they have to pay me taxes. You can you can develop that area. You don't do it in the same way that you develop your capital, which is the full city building simulation. But you use your administrative points to pay for things like building nurseries, building schools, improving the infrastructure, improving the hygiene, uh, building a larger barracks, being able to draft forces from them building sawmills or other production buildings down there so that they will start paying you better taxes it there is a huge huge amount of uh, of influence that you can exert over the uh, into the overworld uh, onto places that you have otherwise conquered all right carry on now that we've done all of that, they should get to building all of these things now, which uh, occasionally they will hang out down here. Once these three are made, I'm going to start unlocking some of the buildings, some of the homes, so that they'll move down. This game has a release schedule like Rimworld. You get a few small patches, then suddenly <laughs> there'll be... A major rework expansion to flash things out. Yeah, pretty much. Right, having all of these materials here is going to be a massive help to getting all of this built down here quickly. I'd like more Talapis, please and thank you. Ten odd jobbers. You know what? I'm going to leave the odd jobbers as they are for now, just so that we can get this built. I want people to move down here soon. Now, what we might do is set up a um, Auroch transport. Because this is a decent distance from the, the main area up here. So, uh, we would want a, a storage warehouse down here. 
and then uh, an ore rock transport to take things from this warehouse to the main part of the uh, of the the city, what will eventually become uh, the centre, the heart of the city, where most of the aristocracy will live and most of the production buildings will exist. Um, I think we're probably going to operate on the idea that, by and large, we're going to produce, uh, we're going to um, kind of mine and gather resources on the outskirts of the city. Uh, we'll do a little bit of mild processing if if that would be uh, advantageous in terms of the logistics. Uh, but then we will cart it into the city to be distributed proper. All right, we've got almost all of this done now. Still working on all of the uh, all of the walls, but they'll get that done soon. Especially because they've got all of these materials just lying there for them. I perhaps should not have made such an enormous furniture. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't have given it that big because each one of these is an entire 64 tile of storage. Ugh. Uh, yeah, there are mods as well, yeah. I haven't looked into the mods too too deeply. I know there's some cosmetic mods. There are lots of different races. Um, I believe there's like, uh, you know, military rework mods that, you know, the usual fare in a very mod-friendly game. Right, as soon as all of this is built, I will allow a couple of these. Maybe I should set up a granary early and also a general stockpile. Mm, that might not be a bad idea, actually. Um, see, the general stockpile would be anything that, that folks might want to use for their homes. So clay or... Uh, whatever they might want to use for furnishing. So these items are what would what you'd want in a general stockpile that didn't exist as a uh, like a military force or anything like that. Also any building materials. So stone, wood, um, refined stone possibly. Uh, polished stone that is. Uh, pottery as well actually I guess. Yeah, pottery, wood. And furnishing, so yeah, there's a there's a couple of things there. Uh, it really does depend on what you want to set up, though. Uh, but you could also the, the main one is to have a granary which has enough storage space for all of the uh, the basic food types. Um, actually, I'll, I'll let them finish this off first because they're almost done with it. Hey, Persephone, how you doing, sweetheart? Robert Goose, thank you very much for the 14 months, mate. Jochen Vaud. Right, okay, they've mostly finished the uh, area down here. So, at this point, we can activate at least these jobs. Let's get them going. You're just luring around here. Persephone is a lure. Persephone is fishing, chat. Beware. Think the angler from Inscription. <laughs> How are you doing, though? I hope you have been enjoying your books. Uh, looking forward to some good dreams. Going to sleep after reading. Go, just getting these done now. Need some more to lapis, though. Always need more to lapis. Down to three. We're quite far away from the next... Um, oh, no, cancel that. Uh, we're quite far away from the next harvest. 
down to three days of food. Though, ooh, the Globian pasture is already going. Nice. I'm going to auto-employ here. In fact, I'm going to auto-employ on both of these. Because they, it's a variable amount of animals, and I don't need the full complement of staff working here if they don't have enough animals to care for yet, because we haven't been able to breed them fast enough. But they are bringing in some eggs and some extra meat each day. Um, 6.5 eggs a day, basically, off the current passion. There's uh, currently 45 of 76 animals, so almost uh, just a little bit over halfway full. That's not too bad. A slaver has arrived. We have no slaves. I do not wish to buy them. I do not wish to sell them. But what we can do is a little bit of a sale right now, possibly. Um, I could purchase some food. And I'm kind of tempted to set up some auto-purchase. Right now we've got up um, some exports to sell off things when we've got too much, rather than allow them to, to rot, which I think is a reasonable thing to do. Um, in fact, we're, we're selling some of our armor at the moment, and that's largely how we're getting money. But I think we're going to get uh, a little bit of an uh, import set up. Let's go and set up a, an import over here. Oh dear. Duffelfish. Duffelfish may be biting off more you can chew, asking Persephone about the books that she reads. Uh, right. We are going to want... Yeah, I'm going to set up a, a purchase order for some grain. I would like these to be somewhat close together, though. Rather than far apart. Uh, might I set up another one as well? I could set up a little bit of something something perhaps for Yeah, I'll set up two One is going to import green definitely the other Well, it depends. I'll have a look at the prices that our trading partner is offering the problem with only having one trading partner is I'm pretty much I, I can only get what they're willing to pay and likewise, I can only buy at the prices that they are asking. And I've, I've got no real bargaining capacity right now, which sucks. <laughs> you, you are, you are gen genuinely walking into the you're, you're just you're not even walking you're, you're face planting into the abyss right now chat fair warning fair warning i'm fairly certain that the horniest of the dapplings will have their mind melted if you if you continue to uh query persephone's reading habits they are not for the faint of heart Rip Persephone's inbox. Yep. Right, there we go. We've got a house down here and people are already moving in. Uh, I guess the a couple of people have moved down here. The the speaker, for example, will be down will be will have moved down here. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to activate this job then. Let's get that one on the go. I'll take one Cretonian, one Tilapis. Hey, Z uh, Zordiak. How are you doing, mate? Just came from watching the VODs on the second channel. I hope you're enjoying them. My mind is beyond the, ab the abyss. I can I can promise you it's not, Hockham. <laughs> A little 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 bit further along that scale, 
interferes. Wow, futuristic rug. Well done on the 10 stream streak. Go. All right, we've got two people living down here so far. I need a couple more things. Namely, I definitely need a granary and a general storage area. So, two, I could make it all one building, but honestly, I like the idea of having a separate granary. Um, I just generally feel that that's wise. I want this to be a little bit further over. Go. Now. Put away in there. That'll be six. But we, um, I don't think we need to store rations. Well, I guess... No, we really don't need to store rations. So basically, I need this to be uh, divisible by eight. Got seven presently. Expand that out a little bit. There we go. We'd be able to have two separate storages for for each food type here. Oh wait, no. I wouldn't be able to because it is the extra concern of that little little uh, utility chest there, which quite often has the like, candles and such on them. Yep, that will do. And since I'm only going to have them entering from one side, that's a nice, simple little building there. Yeah, it won't take much to get that set up, but we will throw down a few trees as well. There we go. Good lord, chat. Horny chat is online tonight. Why does porn need a plot? The things I read when I when I look away for five seconds. Right, now we don't need all of these janitors working flat out. It's going to be very little that they're going to need to do. I, I might even restrict them a little bit. I don't know. We'll see about that, I suppose. Um, same over here, really. I could just put that on auto-employ, and I'm going to allow them to scale up or down, depending on how much work is needed. As we get more stuff done over here, there'll be more reason for people to move down. Because right now, it's just one to lapis. They've got three furs and some wooden floorboards. And that's, that's all they own. It's everything they've got to their name. How's the raid chance going? It's up to 10%, which is a little bit much for me. Um, we're still training our to lapis warriors, though. Uh, currently, 10 to lapis are fully trained. Can I increase the amount that I'm going to... Yeah, I think I can. Hmm. I'm going to increase this to allow 15 people to train at once. We're not going to need that now, but in the future, I want to take that all the way up. Okay. All of the stone and all of the wood that we're going to need down here. This one should be finished fairly quickly, and I can then have one of the workers occupy this. And all they're going to need to do is keep... Well, I, I mean, I guess I could just say keep two. Uh, they won't take anything out of this place. That one's all on 
fetch. And this one I am allowing to bring in rations as well, though realistically I probably shouldn't. I probably should have rations elsewhere. Uh, have you built them? Yes, you have. Marvelous. Okay. So, one thing I would like to do. There is no point in me setting the minimum and maximum buy price. Unless I just want to say I will never buy it if it's 15. But honestly, if I want it, I kind of want to buy it. Um, if I've got the cash for it, just buy it. Grain. That way I can keep making bread. This one... Let me have a look at the the, uh, the trade rate that they've got. So there's fruit at 24. They'll sell it for 34, rather. Th oh, 31 on vegetables. Okay. I'll set up a little buy order for vegetables as well, then. Again, I'll pay whatever they're willing to to sell at. And for that matter, I'm actually going to do the same. Um, if I need to... St uh, if I need to sell, look, I'll just take whatever they're willing to, to sell, uh, to, to buy at. It doesn't make sense for me to do anything else with that. Same over here with the furs. This is very, very uh, lazy mode when it comes to these resources, but that's the way it is. Let's have a look. A book corner. On, oh, yeah. <laughs> if you'd like to. Uh, right. Now, with that, I want a little bit of all of these foodstuffs brought down here. And I want them to be fetched. This will be enough for the population down here to have pretty much whatever they want. Whatever the, is available for them to, to enjoy. But yeah, no, absolutely. We could definitely get a, uh, a like, a, well, I wouldn't mean gaming. I guess we could put it, yeah, I'll, I'll see about setting up a, if there's enough dapplings who are into reading and they want to talk about their books, I'm happy to set up uh, an area for that. Whether a forum or... might be worth setting up a forum, actually, because that way... Because I feel at books, there's going to be a lot of discussion about a single book. Uh, let's see. Get only one of each, which is kind of annoying. We're not getting the kind of Im immigration that I would like. Yeah, Dappling's Book Cup. Right, we've got one Cretonian living down here now. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Still waiting on this being built, though, which is kind of a problem because it's taking forever. Oh, it's because you're all gathering still. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have given you such a wide-ranging gathering tasks, but, uh, oh well, too late now. I mean, I could turn it off, but I'm not going to. I'm too lazy. They're too close to finishing as well. Uh, how are things going over here? We have got 46 of 76 animals. That's not too bad. You volunteer as foreman. Foreman of book club. Is book club... Would book club have a foreman? Is this is this a foreman job? Starting to look nice. We've got a load of herbs. I don't need the herbs though. But we have brought in enough grain to meet our needs, which is glorious. Uh, are they just not selling any clothes? Seven. That is import, yeah. Hmm. Maybe they just don't have clothes to sell right now. But I kind of want to get those clothes in. Let me have a quick gander. Is any anything coming our way? No. No. 
Nothing is particular is coming our way. Um. All right. Well, I'm going to send out a uh, <laughs> go for the best. There's literally one person I can trade with. Uh, they are by definition the best. Also, by definition, the worst. Uh, let's go ahead and buy 40 clothes. That's going to cost me a cool 9,000. However, I'm not going to use my money for that. Not directly. I'm just going to sell things that otherwise I don't need. Which is just that, actually. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to need an extra 7k. Exactly. Hmm. Alright, you can have that. Let's get those clothes brought over. One of the things I love about this is you can see the wagon of, cl of uh, stuff coming for me and my wagon of goods heading to them. And if, they, if they're going via the, the sea, you'll see the, the actual uh, vessels going across the ocean. Depending on the books, we might need heavy construction equipment. Hmm. Let's see. Is the first rule of book club not to talk about book club? Uh, well, it depends on, on uh, who you're talking with. In which case, it might very well be not to talk about book club. My goodness. A live poet's society. <laughs> I like it. All right, there we go. Again, a little bit more work done down here now. I believe you are a janitor coming down from uh, from up top. Seriously, you stopped halfway away. There we go. More people in here. Perfect. With 14 people helping out, this should go a lot faster now. I might want to limit their range a little bit. I don't know. Peeps in chat who play the game, do you find that limiting range is useful? Well, actually, the range on this is... Huh. I guess they're just willing to go further out. But that is the, the range that they would do normally. Uh, is there a way to limit it? No. No, there's not. Oh, okay. Guess they'll just go to wherever they, they're needed. All right. Set this one up on auto employ. Yep. Okay. So peeps will filter in as they want to. Speaking of peeps in chat that play the game, you just lost, by the way. Ah. Uh, wow. Really, nine? <sighs> Can't believe we just lost the game because of nine. What a scoundrel. Why do you have to say it out loud? Well, if I've lost the game, then you can lose the game. Oh, I'm not going down alone. I'm taking the whole ship with me. All right, we want a warehouse down here. Time for us to set some big things in motion. Um, actually, how? Oh, yeah, we can. No. I will do something like this. And a central area. Expand it out further. There we go. This will be our larger stock room. Just for the general odds and sods. I may simply reserve the space in this one for a little bit. I, I don't know. Um, this is not going to be a very rounded building, I must confess. And that does pain me somewhat, but uh, this is why I have two wide roads. So I can do things like this. Go. Isolation is still high. Construct.
<laughs> just made the list. Hey, Butters Ray. Uh oh, chat. Persephone is making lists. Very careful what you agree to. We are going to want some roads around this. Take these roads all the way around. This will probably shape it up a little bit more. There we are. That'll be perfect. Okay. This will work well. Got the workmen here. We're going to need to have a place for peeps to poop. I kind of... Well, actually, you know what? Let's get this one done first, and then I'm going to disassemble these, and then they can all be filtered in where they need to go. <laughs> the YouTube distribution system worked for once, and I saw the announcement before the stream ended. Hey, <laughs> Galaxy Inferno. You haven't got my blood. You can't make me sign anything, says the person who just randomly eats things that people offer them in chat, talking to the person who is known in mythology for having been imprisoned for eating things. Hmm. I think Duffel doesn't realize that pretty much anything can be a binding contract, as long as you are convinced enough. As long as you've got conviction. At least that's a story she told her mother. <laughs> yes. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I think getting this storage area up and running, and then I can just break all of this down, and get everything then stored. Now... The question is, I could either use haulers to bring stuff up from down here, or I can use um, ox carts. Now, to get to ox carts, the transports, now they can take shocking amounts of stuff. Like a single person, I think a hauler can carry a decent amount, to be fair. But if I were to pause this for a second and find someone hauling something. Okay, they're, they're grabbing the wood from over there. I'll wait for them to do it again. But they, they carry a, a stack. Of maybe, I don't know, like two, something like that. Items. Let's have a look at you. How much are you carrying right now? No, they're carrying one. I think the haulers themselves can carry more. Where is your employee? Right, how much are you ca You're carrying eight. A hauler can carry eight things at a time. A cart, by comparison, I think can carry something like 120 or something stupid. But it requires one auroch and a handler. Uh, we haven't put any pumps or canals because I'm moving my farming stuff down to the river instead. I'll oh, take care, Persephone. Have a good night, Cariad. Can have some nice statues in here, I'm thinking, and pillars. Something to spread a little bit of awe. Good luck luring the Sandman. Funny enough, saying that's Persephone. Persephone was the one who lent me the Pumpkin Queen to read. The story of uh, a continuation of uh, Sally and Jack and Nightmare Before Christmas. That featured the Sandman. Thank you very much, Zordiac. 
Yochav Arion for the two-month stream uh, of subs. Second month, best month, as the saying goes. I like the big square. Yeah, I'm trying to make more space, especially because there's going to be a lot of Kretonians down here, and they like space specifically. So I'm trying to make sure that I've got big open areas for them to socialize in. I mean, the houses, look, you know, I'm not going to dedicate enormous amounts of walkway in the internal space of a house, but outside of it, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll go for nice big open areas outside. Yo. Oh, Bodrak, thank you very much for the 47 months, mate. You're convoyed, mate. Super kind of you. And I said mate twice. My British is sewing. We're almost finished with this at this point. Again, once this is done, I will move more stuff in here. Uh, on that note, though, this is going to be, hmm, I guess this is going to be Matten Square. Yep. I'm not sure if I'm going to go around naming everything else around it. We might name one or two things. Um... The Matten Granary, for example, is an important building. Tea break? Uh, yeah, we could go on a tea break in a moment, sure. Though, we'll wait a little bit, since there's a hype train going. Thank you so much for the gifts of the Zodiac. I don't know why the... The sound effects aren't going on. It's like, why are you so broken, OBS? I do apologize for any uh, for any subs or bits that I've missed. But after the beginning of the stream and all the shenanigans going on there, I decided, yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna faff around with that too much. Yeah, blame OBS. Maybe I've worn out the looking dapper soundbite. I hope. Uh, there we go. Getting a bit more of a move on now down here. How's food? Uh, we got four days worth of food. Largely because we're bringing in grain. Honestly, just a, a little bit of a thing to bring grain in is such a worthwhile thing to do, in my opinion. Two more Cretonians. Oh! A new level has been bestowed upon your name. We are now on a Prontix Ray. You now have the title of Grand Conqueror, and as such, you now have the divine permission to recruit a nobleman who can help you greatly. Alright, we've now got access to noble chambers. Now that's uh, actually kind of a pain in the backside. Nobles are only mildly less annoying in this than they are in Dwarf Fortress, but only, only just. However, that's going to be greatly expanded in the future from what I understand. going to be greatly, greatly expanded. There we go. Perfect. Right. I'm going to slow things down for a moment. Now, the first thing that we're going to want down here, we want building materials, a decent amount of them, at least three crates for all th for wood and stone, because that's the most common building material. Um, probably... Oh, each one of these, actually, each one of these stores 80. So 160, well, yeah, 160 wood is almost nothing in this game. Um, actually, let's go with two crates for everything so far. Uh, we'll want some pottery. I don't anticipate that this area is going to need much in the way of fancy stone. 
really what I'm looking at right now is stuff for the market. So I guess what I could do is... Oh, I can't because the market hasn't been built. It would have been useful to look at the market. Uh, perhaps I can have a look at this market and see what sort of things they grab. So clay, both stones, gems, pottery. Yeah, they get everything for the, the homes, I guess. So jewellery, fish, leather, clothing, animals. Okay. Let's do that. Jewellery. I think I've put in one. I need fish because, you know, some people like to keep pets. Uh, what else? So jewellery. The gems themselves, fish, leather. We need uh, Scythillian ore. Also livestock. Actually, we're going to want, to want a couple of crates of livestock because this we're going to have ranches down here, so that kind of makes sense. Likewise, for the, for the leather, we're going to want to store that. Uh, I'm also going to want at least one crate for every type of food. Because this is an overflow stockpile, effectively. This is our granary, and once it's in there, it shouldn't go wanders unless it goes to a market. But storing it in here makes a bit of sense. I mean, in fact, I, again, because this is going to be an area which is going to be making these sort of things, maybe not so with the rations, but uh, still I'll have one crate of it, at the very least. But everything else we can store two of. And, uh, of course, uh, that as well. Uh, we're going to want some fabric available. We're going to want clay available. Uh, we're going to want clothing. I'm going to say two things of clothing and two things of tools. We're also going to want to get tools on the go elsewhere as well. We don't need any kind of weapons down here. That's just not necessary. Um... Is there anything else we're going to be doing here? There's no real ores that we're going to be gathering, I don't think. So it shouldn't be necessary. So we've got these. And I'm fairly certain we've got all of that. Pottery and furniture are the only ones that I might not have. Or have I? I've got, yeah, I've got pottery. Okay, so that's pretty much everything we're going to need. And this will allow us to store 80 of. And that gives us uh, 9 more that I can play with. In that case, I'm going to increase our building materials quite a lot. Uh, I'm, I'll increase one crate of cut stone just in case. Uh, but I don't foresee us needing it, really. Um, actually, let me pull back the cut stone a little bit. Because, farm-wise, what am I going to farm? I'm definitely going to be farming cotton. I'm going to be farming that, a decent amount. And that is not a granary item, so... And then I've got two more. I... It's very unlikely I'm going to be farming opiates here, because I don't think we're going to have that kind of production. Nevertheless, I do want to make sure I've got it, so I'm going to pull two of these down and add two crates for opiates. And that gives us everything. I'll set it up for auto-employ. It should always be one. But this allows me to store a little bit of rations, some of all of the foods, two drinks. Like, rations, it's okay to store them here. Just like here and there. But realistically, they should be stored at the, in the granaries in the center of the capital. Um, because that's pretty much what they're there for. They're, they're to help assuage fear at uh, starvation. 3-3. Uh, three, three. Got two livestock there. One, two, two. Anything on farming should have two. Two there, two here. And we're close enough to a, a mountain. I should be able to farm mushrooms in there. Bread, I could probably reduce that, actually. If I really wanted to. But I don't see a, a need to right now. Two furniture, because there's a building material. Everything else should just be enough here. Well, clothing, because uh, it's a thing that uh, my uh, citizens are going to need for themselves. Not just for sprucing up their homes. Right, okay. I think that's pretty solid. 
So with that, I'm going to delete these rooms. Please tell me all of that didn't just get deleted. No, they didn't. Good. And delete that. There we go. Right. Now they'll go ahead and they'll just store all of this. Starting to see a lot of people moving down here now. That's actually very, very nice. Uh, all right. Well, given that, I'm going to say let's get the market being made next. And also the... Well, you know what? We may as well just open them all up at this point. Got enough stuff down here. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we've got a couple of Dondorans. One that wants to move in. We've got two Cretonians and two Talapis. I see no reason not to say yes to those. Got a little bit more stone over here to be gathered. But other than that, we're looking pretty, uh, pretty good right now. The uh, gathering of uh, forage down here is now going in there as well. And my, gra uh, sorry, uh, warehouse worker is going all the way up here to collect things and bring it down. Now, I could have a dedicated hauler to hold things down here for this place to, to collect, if I wanted to. I'm not really sure that that's the correct way to go about it, though, if I'm honest. I, I think that might not be uh, the right move there. Very soon we're going to move all of our planting down here. And to that end, I'm going to pop down a road that runs out of the area here down to this. And straight down to the water's edge. And from here, we'll branch out across a myriad of patchwork of farms and fisheries. And that's what this place is built up for. Uh, we're also going to be uh, gathering the stone over here as well. We're going to be setting up a mining area for that. Uh, we're not going to be set... Uh, yeah, I very much doubt we're going to be setting up uh, lumbering. Because that honestly, this place is better for it. Or these places... We've got so many trees and they're much further to the north. That I don't think setting them up down here makes sense. Uh, but we've got a decent amount of stuff going on here now. I like it. And we've named this as the Matten Square. Uh, got the janitor there, the lavatory's going up. Look at a cursory glance through the, the game files. Don't see an easy way to mod it for increased name sizes. We'll take a look again when my head hurts less. I'm really sorry to hear that your head's hurting, Mini Moodle. Really sorry about that, mate. I hope it passes quickly. Right, go and grab a couple more peeps, and at this point, we easily have enough for us to jam that full all the way up. Now, with that in place, we've got 1,000 points of uh, uh, technology points available to us. We've also got a 12% chance that someone's going to attack us at any moment, which isn't great. Uh, let's have a quick look at you. We currently need to... I can double the amount of weapons you've got. I can triple the amount of armor you've got. This looks better. They're going to be very well equipped. Very well equipped. Uh, I need another seven people to be trained to have reached full trained status. I'm going to allow the full complement of people in here to train. But at this point, the Rose Thorns have actually become quite a lot stronger than they were previously. They've got a very high morale. I like that a lot. 5.8 on the morale. Fence skill. I'm guessing that this is because of the weapon that we're giving them. Well, I can't tell for certain. Pierce damage there. Pierce armor. Slash armor. They got very high slash armor thanks to this. 
It's not going to do much against something trying to pierce it, but it will be fantastic against something trying to slash through it. Uh, the alternative would be to go for something like plate mail, but <laughs> we don't have that option. That's not a thing we can do. I could increase their training. So we'd have 20 very highly trained people. Or, and this is kind of where I'm leaning right now, we increase it to 30, but then I wouldn't have enough to make sure they all had very good armor and very good weapons. Twenty is in a lot of people, frankly. That's a problem. I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. This is this is enough of a deterrent for the time being that I'm not too concerned, but we do need to, to work on that. Oh, sleep well, Demi. You have a good one. And Max Dacker, thank you ever so much for the tier two at 100 months. That is a very long time to have been supporting the channel. Thank you so, so much. Good day, all. How's it going? It is going well. All the better for you joining us in chat. All right, well, there's a bunch of work for people to do down here. And once all of this is set up, I'm sure that they will just crack on with the work. But I'm going to leave uh, leave the simulation running, nice and uh, nice and slow, so uh, things don't go too crazy too quickly. And uh, little by little, more people are going to be moving down into Matten Square, or around Matten Square. We're going to need a lot more homes down here. We're going to need a lot more stuff down here in general. Um, but uh, we, you know, we are we are making progress. I feel. Ava, can you make bows? Since the majority of your pops are elven, uh, elven-eyed elves. No, I can't make bows. The reason why I can't make bows is because it's really, really expensive, technologically speaking. I mean, I, I could go to it at this point. It would cost me 500 and then 700. That's a lot. That's too much, frankly. Um... When instead, I could invest in having food, which is the highest concern that I have at the moment. Um, the other things that we were looking at doing. Because I'd also need to research being able to make the bows on top of it. Ah, yes. I wanted to pick up fine clothing. That way I can make sure that our people have clothes. I think that, yeah, we're, we're going to focus on, on taking care of our peeps first. Um, there are a couple of other technologies that we can look into, but that's what we're going to get into when I come back off our tea break. Because it is tea break time. So we're, I'm going to drop a save here, but we're going to leave things running. I will revert the save only, and I really do mean only, if something happens that basically completely cripples the run that I would have realistically been able to react to had I been here. But if something just bad happens, well, that's just the price of me leaving you with something to watch rather than a static screen. I think a price that we're all willing to pay. Anyway, I shall be back soon. <laughs> 